the faith I live by, June 5, talents for all, a living benevolence. I have showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak, and to rem remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. Acts 20 verse 35. We should regard ourselves as stewards of the Lord's property and God as the supreme proprietor to whom we are to render his own when he shall require it. The servants of God should be making their wills every day in good works and liberal offerings to God. Dying legacies are a miserable substitute for living benevolence. Hoarded wealth is not merely useless, it is a curse. In this life, it is a snare to the soul, drawing the affections away from the heavenly treasure. In the great day of God, its witness to a new talents and neglected opportunities will condemn its possessor. He who realizes that his money is a talent from God will use it economically and will feel it a duty to save that he may give. It is utter folly to defer to make a preparation for the future life until nearly the last hour of the present life. It is also a great mistake to defer to answer the claims of God for liberty to his cause until the time comes when you are to shift your stewardship upon others. Those to whom you entrust your talents of means may not do as well with them as you have done. How dare rich men run so great risk. Those who wait till death before they make a disposition of their property surrender it to death rather than to God. In so doing, many are acting directly contrary to the plan of God plainly stated in his word. If they will do good, they must seize the present golden moments and labor with all their might as if fearfully that they may lose the favorable opportunity. We must all be rich in good works in this life if we will secure the future immortal life. When the judgment shall sit and the book shall be opened, every man will be rewarded according to his works. So today we are being told a living benevolence, talent for all. The Lord has given to each one of us a talent and your talent you are supposed to use it to glorify God. What you are using a talent to do, does it give glory to God? In every aspect of life, if God has given you your money, if God has given you a job, do you use that money or job to glorify God and also to help his work? That is the question. We are told in order to secure immortal life, we should also be rich in good works. So good works, also Christ himself did good works when he was on earth. Like let's say when he went and healed the woman during the Sabbath, he did a good work on the sabbath day so also to us we should help those who cannot help themselves if we can help them you know sometimes we can see some people on the streets they don't have anything and maybe you have much or excess then that is the talent that god has given you and he says that you can offer it to the poor and help the less fortunate in the society so that is also showing love to god's people or love to men as also Christ loved us and he died, he died on the cross for you and me. So let us consider also helping the poor, uh, physically poor and also the poor in heart. Remember also we read that the Lord will protect those who help the poor in the time of trouble. They will stand in the time of trouble. So if you help the poor and also help the poor in spirit by telling them the truth of the word of God, then the Lord is going also to keep you safe in the time of trouble when it comes. I think it's from Psalms 41. And Psalm 41, the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth, and you will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. So that is Psalms 41, verse 1. Blessed is he that considereth the poor, the Lord will deliver him in the time of trouble. So if you want to be delivered in the time of trouble, we help the physical poor 
and also those who are spiritual are spiritually poor who do not know the word of god so if you tell someone the word of god the truth the way it is then you have helped someone who was poor and also physically poor those in the streets also we need to help them so may god give us a heart to help all of those who are around us especially those who don't have anything have a blessed day for today and i hope christ is going to give us a heart to also help the poor in spirit 
and those who are also poor in the physical life. Have a blessed time.